YouTubers and welcome to another episode here of NCAA Football 14 and this is the Highland Scotties Team Builder Dynasty episode 32 as this week we're in week 13 of the NCAA season and this week we are going to be hosting the North Texas uh, Mighty Green today here on the sh uh, here in this episode as Highland of course are currently 9-1 going into this game texas north texas i should say is five and five for the season but four and three in their conference as you take a look and uh, see that uh, uh they're uh, four and three in their conference usa uh, west division and they lost last week against middle tennessee, middle tennessee state in a very close game a 31 to 35 ball game um so we'll see uh, how that's going to work out here for them as the last time they uh, got a win was just two weeks ago, and they had a pretty impressive win there uh, against uh, UTSA, as you take a look there, uh, from their schedule. And uh, they've just been having a rough go as it hit forward. Now, for us, we've been on a fast track ever since uh, losing that game against LSU, and now we're trying to see, uh, of course, continue that going into Now, we're ranked we're number five in the nation right now, and by the looks of it, we may be... Uh, idling there for at least another week uh, for unless we can pull off another big win uh, this week or if someone above us uh, one of the top other four teams in the nation of course Alabama would be on one of those teams we'll see if they can get knocked off this week here we'll see all about that coming up later on in the video so let's go ahead and get through this game here and take a look at the offseason stacks there for both squads as we'll see Alex playing in course he is um, you know, his name's been thrown around for the Heisman this year. He hasn't played Heisman-like this season. But we uh, he's had a, some pretty impressive games, especially just last, last week. As see Kaysan here, who's one of the top vote-getters right now in the Heisman chase. And we'll see Kaysan get a first down there uh, after converting that third down. So we'll see here Highland now at uh, first and ten uh, there at the uh, midfield. We'll see Flanagan. He'll drop back here. He's got to get rid of it here, and he does. But, ooh, almost dangerous there. Almost going to be an interception as North Texas gets on him in that one. But that's going to be an incomplete pass on that attempt there, I believe, too little. Second and 10 now. Flanagan here. Going to get out of the pocket here. He's going to scramble here. He's going to get rid of it here as he sees the uh, defender coming towards him. And that's going to be a 17-yard reception for the first down. So Highland looking for really good here in this first drive here as we'll see Flanagan here. He'll run here. He'll call his own number here, and he's going to run this one there. He drops the ball, and that is going to be picked up by Gardner of North Texas, and that's going to be the first turnover of the ball game here for Highland as they turn this one over. This is a great run there, but he should have slid there, and there you see the ball is oh, yeah, ripped right out of his hands, and there's nothing else Flanagan can do there. Hopefully someone in another blue jersey there can pick it up. So, We'll see North Texas here. They'll get the possession here as we'll see a great pass there from, or no, not so great pass there. Mason Fine gets an incomplete pass. going to be a second and 10. Mason Fine is also known uh, as a good running, uh, good speedster. And he will see, we'll see that right now in this play right here. But he drops the ball there, but he remarkably recovers his own recovery there, his own uh, fumble recovery. And he will get uh, the uh, gain yardage there for that. So they'll keep remaining. Possession here as we go to a third and two, and we'll see a run here. This is going to be ran there, and that's going to be Nick Smith, who is a very dangerous back here for North Texas, as uh, we've talked about, of course, in uh, the uh, video, uh, the uh, Scotty Sports, Sports Time or Sports Talk there. So we'll see here. Ellis almost jumps it there, just a perfect timing there from Ellis, but not so much to get the uh, running back there. Smith will get to about five yards on the play. So two carries, 17 yards for Smith. So now third, second and five now here for North Texas as we'll see a man in motion. And hand this one off to Smith once again. Why not? He's been doing well on this drive here so far. He'll get enough there as he'll get six yards on the, on the uh, carry for the first down. So now first and ten here for the Scotties. Or, excuse me, for uh, Mean Green here. As we'll see, Fine here drops back here. He's going to try to find Smith, and he does. And Ramsauer gets the nice tackle there. As that's a loss of a yard on the play for North Texas. So, third and four here. Fine here. He's going to try to go ahead. And he's going to call his own number, but he will get taken down there. Nice sack there from uh, Tolbert. Ken Tolbert on that play. 
and that will be a uh, force over now, a turnover now for, uh, or I should say, a punt situation now there for North Texas. Is he Flanagan here, and they play action there, and that is going to be his target there to car or to uh, get, um, cannon for the first down there. Nice job there on that play, as we'll see now, first and ten here once again. They'll see throw to cannon once again, and cannon getting. The four-yard reception there for the second and six. As we will now on the next play here, we'll see what Highland can do here. Try to see if they can try to score here. So far, still no score here in the first quarter. 420 four left here in the first. And we'll see a nice run there from Kaysan as he will go ahead and get the first. So nice play there on that run, on that nice uh, power move there from the Highland Scotties. As we'll see. Flanagan here drops back here deep in his own pocket here. Looking, throws this one up here. He's looking for Grady Little. Grady Little gets the catch, and that is going to be a touchdown. 49 yards on that reception. And Highland's on the board here. Nice play there. We'll see Flanagan. He dropped back, I mean, quite a bit there. I was almost kind of wondering, like, whoa, you're going back too far. You don't want to lose that much yardage there, just in case. But there you see he makes a nice play to give little enough time here to get down the field and but there you see we missed a field goal not that not what we want there so it's a six nothing ball game should be seven but we'll see here final handoff there to smith there as north texas gets possession and that's a loss of three so now second and 13 here for north texas north texas Trying their best here to stay alive here in this game here. They don't want this game to fold on them here. They know what Highland can do here is Nick Smith, or this time, no, fine. Runs this ball in there, 16 yards on the game. Remember, I told you he has great speed there. He loves the, North Texas loves to use that speed there. As we'll see, they get the first down here. Hand this one off to Nick Smith now. And Smith here, he's going to get stopped by Ramsauer as uh, Smith will get a gain, nine of, uh, gain of nine on the play. Second and one. Now we'll see Fine here again calls his own number here. Tisdale gets a hold of him but lose track of him. And for some reason he's not going down but he finally does as a gang of Scotties there gets him. But it's too late to, as he does get the first down. Fine now here gets out of the pocket here and he's going to call his own number here. Fumbles the ball and a lineman there. Barr gets there and gets to the back to the line of scrimmage. But wait a minute. Fine is not good there. So the backup now has to come in here and play this game as we'll see Sh 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 Shambor he'll come in there and throws this one to Smith and that should be good enough for the first down but we have a penalty on the on the field and it's going to be roughing the passer on the defense so their defense is going to be called on the play there and that'll be an automatic first down for this uh, North mean, uh, for the mean green as we go now first and 10 here Shambor here He's going to call his own number here and gets hit hard, but he holds on to the football there as he gets a gain of two. And it's going to make it now a third and eight. So big play here for the mean green here. Shambor here throws this one, a screen pass here to Smith. Adams is trying to hold on to him, does, brings him down. And that's going to be a fourth and nine situation here. We'll see what the mean green's going to do. They're going to go ahead and go for here. They figure it's early enough. They're going to try to see if they can... Get around this defense of Highlands. We'll see Shambor here throws this one up there. That one gets almost picked. Almost, uh, you know, actually gets tipped away. The receiver almost had it. But the defender comes out of nowhere and tips it away. Nice play there from the Highland D. As Highland now will get the ball there on their own 20. Hand off here to Kaysan. Kaysan's going to run this one here. Breaks a tackle. Gets caught up there, but he does not get any yards there as he has no gain on the plane. Nice job there from Johnson on the tackle. And we'll see here what Highland can do now on a third and ten. As we'll see, just six seconds left here in the first quarter. We'll see Flanagan throws this one up there. That's going to be a nice catch there to Blair. Terrence Blair gets a 21-yard reception, and that ends the first quarter. So here we go, second quarter here. They'll change up sides now. Highland now going to the uh, west end of this field, as we'll see here. Uh, Flanagan dropping back here, fires this one. That one is going to be thrown to Mays. The fullback who gets a nice catch there for eight yards on the play second and two for the Scotties well now Scotty's here trying to thread now here in the second quarter six nothing ball game as they missed that field goal there 
Try to make it a seven point lead, but it's going to be a six point lead instead. We'll see Flanger throws his one at the last minute there to Hunter Cannon. Cannon gets the catch here. Tries to do a little juke move, but gets taken down. A gain of 26 on the play. First and 10 for the Scotties. Eight minutes, about nine minutes left here, or less than nine minutes left here in the second uh, quarters. We'll see handoff there to Kaysong. Kaysong gets taken down there quickly. Nice job there from the defense as Wheeler gets in there, sniffs out the run, and gets a loss of two on the uh, Scotty's halfback. As we'll see now, second and uh, 12. Kaysong here getting a good block in here. Great job. He's going to get in the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown. Scotty's. It's a touchdown there for Wins Winsdell Kaysan as he gets a great run there. And Highland looks like they're going to go for two here as they're going to go for a two-point conversion. Now, it's, uh, I don't know what Coach Teddy Bonds is thinking here, but it's a dangerous situation here as they'll see Flanagan throws one up there to Cannon. And Cannon gets the catch, and that now puts a two-possession lead, now a solid two-possession lead on North Texas. As we go to a second and seven here, and we'll see Shambor here calls his own number here. He's going to get enough there for the first down. Breaks a tackle, gets taken down there, the 42-yard line there in Mean Green Territory for the first. It's so now first and 10 here. We'll see that uh, Mean Green here, Shambor is going to call his own number again here. Gets taken down on the shoestring tackle there from Sheldon. As a nice job there. Sheldon Sherman there gets the tackle. As we'll see now, third and five here. Pass there to B Busley Jr. As he gets the catch, and that is going to be an A-yard gain there for Rico Busley Jr. Makes the first down, and the Mean Green are still on the field. Now first and ten here for uh, Mean Green, North Texas. Here Smith here runs this one. That is going to be a gain of six. Nice run there for him. As the Mean Green trying to uh, do their best here to stay on the field here. I don't understand why they just didn't go for three points earlier in this one. They would have had a bit, had some points on the field. But we'll see. Smith here gets taken down by Ramsauer and just short of the yard they need for the first down. Nice play from the defense. And they'll be forced to punt. So Highland will get the ball now here. They're near their own 25-yard line. And we'll see here. That Flanagan here will drop back here. He's looking, and he gets hit hard as everyone is pretty much covered. And Flanagan cannot find anybody there. That's a huge loss there of 10. So now second and 20 now. Highland here going to try to see what they can do here. As Flanagan is going to drop back here. You're going to see him throw this one up there. It looks like a great little bit. That's going to get picked off by Hall. And that's going to be another uh, turnover there. For Highland, as this is the second turnover, the first interception in the game here for North Texas. And they say he did catch it, so he was inbound. So it is an interception. As we see Smith here trying to run this one, that's going to be a loss of three on the play for him. As North Texas is really trying to go get something here going here. And we'll see here another screen pass there to Smith. Smith's trying to get around the defense, but gets caught. And he'll be a fourth and seven. Now, well, the question is, are they going to go for? Yes, they are. Not going to kick for a field goal here. This is the second time now. This might come back and bite him again here. And Shambor here looks here, fires, throws this one, and almost gets picked off by Barrow. As that's going to be a turnover on downs there on North Texas. So now, first and ten here for the Scotties, as we'll see. Flanagan here drops back, throws this one quickly as he got pressure on him. And throws that one to Hunter Cannon. Who gets him out there and he just loves having that release valve there of Hunter Cannon here so far this later in late in the season here so we'll see Flanagan here drops back here he's looking he gets hit as he throws throws that one to Grady Little Grady Little's going down the field here he has one man to get shook off but gets taken down at the five huge play there for Highland that's a big first and ten here for the Scotty so they're on the oh it's a first and goal here ball in the five Throw that one up there to Blair, and Blair cannot get the catch there. As that's going to be an incomplete pass for the Scotties. Second and a goal here for the Scotties. 2.52 left here in the second quarter. And Blair in the backfield gets the catch. Five yards on the reception, and that's a touchdown there for Terrence Blair and the Scotties. The Scotties now lead it here now. 21 to nothing here with 2.50 left in the second quarter. 
So 250 left here in the first half. We'll see Shambor here. Hands this one off to uh, Smith, and Smith will get a gain of seven on the play. So far now, North Texas member now had two. Op they had two. They went for the fourth down twice and could have kicked a field goal, making it now six to twenty-one. But instead, they're still shut out here. As we'll see, Smith there will run a ten-yard uh, rush there, and he has now sixty-four or sixty-seven yards now for the ball game. So now, see their first downs eight apiece there. We'll see what they can do now here in this one. As we'll see, as first and ten here to Smith again and again, wearing down Smith here. Haven't seen too much passing here for North Texas here. Seen a couple passes there, the lot uh, the towards the end of the first quarter, going to the second quarter. But so far here, we have not seen too many pass plays. As they again hand off to Smith, and Smith will lose three on the play. So now third and twelve here, a big play here for. The North Texas Mean Green here. Shambor throws this one up there. No one's there as Cohen does a great job of uh, defending the uh, def good job defending there. And that'll be forced him to punt the ball. As we go now, first and 10 here. Flanagan's going to call his own number here on this uh, made play here. They've been working on some plays here for, essentially for him in the running game. And that one worked there as they get the first. So now first and 10 here for Highland. Minute 23 left here before we get to the half. We'll see Cole, or Kaysan here gets the uh, handoff there. And that'll be a gain of seven on the play. So a minute 14 left here in the ball game. We'll see Flanken here. Possibly looks like that same formation they had before. Hand off to uh, Flanagan. And Flanagan is going to take this one here. Open space here for Flanagan. Flanagan's going to get down. And he's going to get down to the 33-yard line. First and 10 there for the Highland Scotties there. And they're in territory now of the Mean Green as they're hoping to be green here in the red or the green zone here, the money zone, and they uh, near the end zone here and try to score another one here, maybe try to make it 28 nothing at half. But we'll see there with 37 seconds left, Highland will call a timeout now with a second and five. So here we go, second and five, Highland. Gonna try to see possibly maybe a passing play here and try maybe get close here as the and they do so as Hunter Cannon gets a nice catch as he has two men covering him. Great job there, 20 yards on the play. It's a huge first down. So here we go now. 20 seconds left here before we get to the half. We'll see Flanagan here drops back, looks, fires, throws one to Cannon. Cannon cannot get to the end zone there, but he does get to the one yard line and they will call a quick timeout. As they are marked at the one. So balls will be marked at the one yard line here. 11 seconds left here. We'll see what they'll do here. Looks like they got a lot of their big men on the line here. So it could be a running play. I probably, I would imagine it would be some kind of stretch play here to, to Kaysan. Or maybe a quick QB sneak. But it's going to be a good Kaysan. That's going to be a touchdown. Scotties. And the Scotties have a 28 uh, point lead here going into the half. What is going on with North Texas here? North Texas is about to get uh, swept out of here. They had two opportunities to score f uh, field goals to at least put some kind of points on the board here. But for whatever reason, the coach decides he wants to go for it. And both times were denied. Actually, that last second time they went for it, well, almost went for a pick six going the other way. So as we take a look at some of the first half uh, highlights here, been a good game here so far, with the exception of the one or the two turnovers we had in the ball game, uh, the fumble there from uh, from Flanagan, of course the interception from Flanagan, uh, trying to throw to his uh, receiver there. So far, it's been a pretty decent game, and we're hoping that uh, I'm sure Highland's going to try to clean up the mess there, have more better ball control, and really try to milk out the clock as much as they can with the running game there. The running game's been really uh, there for him here so far. As we'll see here, already two, I believe, uh, two touchdowns maybe so far, I think, for Kaysan here in this one. As we'll see a third and ten here for Smith and the Mean Green. They'll get the ball here first. Or actually, no, they'll get the, uh, well, actually, Sim, well, actually uh, a couple minutes into this game here in the second half. As we'll see what they'll do here as they got a first and ten here after a great pass there. And we'll see Shambor here throws this one away there. No one's there. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. And it's going to be a second and a ten. 
for Mean Green. So Mean Green now now third and ten here. They got to convert here as we see more passing now here. So they're more aware of they need to get the ball down the field. As that one gets batted away. Blanco gets the deflection. And that's going to be a force to uh, punt the ball. So now first and ten here for the Scotties as we'll see here. Uh, Flanagan drops back here. He's looking. Fires this one a little. Great one-hand catch there from Little. And that's a 16 or six yard reception as he has now four receptions, 128 yards. So now third and four here for the Scotties. As the Scotties are looking at some play action here, try to see if they'll bite on it. Scotties throw this one up there. That one almost gets picked off as Robinson puts his hands up there, intended for Flanagan. And usually that's the go to play for Flanagan, and they'll be forced to punt. So now third and four here. We'll uh, move up now a couple plays here later with the Mean Green. Smith gets stopped in the background there. Only 103 yards total here for the Mean Green as they'll be forced to punt. So now first and ten here for the Scotties as we'll get the ball back here. We'll see a handoff here. Oh, it's going to be a play action here. Flanagan looking. He's going to go ahead and run here. He's going to go to the side. He's going to slide. Good job there. Being smart there and taking a... Uh, just go ahead and give himself up there on the slide as that's going to be the first down. So first and ten here, minute or about 6.50 left here in the third. We'll see what they'll do here as Flanagan's calling an audible here. Doesn't like what he's seeing from the defense here. Playcock's running down to five. We'll see a handoff here. Play action instead. Flanagan looking, fires, throws his one to Hunter Cannon. Hunter Cannon gets the catch and gets taken down at the, one, or at the ten for the first down. So first and ten here for the Scotties. As play clock run downs to eight. Play action again here. And oh, Flanagan gets hit hard as he throws that one. That's going to be a great play action play right there. And the defense did not buy on that one at all. So now third, or excuse me, second and ten here. Flanagan here, he's going to go ahead, roll out here, throw it, looks, and finds Hunter Cannon in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Scotties. And the Scotties now lead it now 35 0. Fourth quarter. Let's go ahead and go in the fourth quarter here. 35 0. As we'll see here. As we start the uh, final quarter here, we'll see Kason here runs this one here. And Kason going to get that one. That's going to be 11 yards on the play. And that's going to be a good enough for the first. So great play there from Kason. As again, he's trying to make a uh, run for the Heisman Trophy this year. He came in third place last year. Wants to try to return here. Don't know if this is going to be his last year here at Highland. As uh, I believe he is a junior. As we'll hand this one off here to him. And Kaysan's going to run this one here. Going to get around the defender. Go down the sidelines here. Fine getting pushed out there at the 15-yard line for the first. Great run there for him. And we'll see here. Oh, apparently he broke a record there, which the, if you don't know about NCAA, the record books are kind of broken. But we'll go ahead and say, yeah, uh, he broke a record there. So Kaysan, a great run there from him. And we'll see here if they can finish off this drive with him. So we'll see now here with a first and ten for the Scotties. They're in the mean green territory. You see Tober in motion there. We'll see Flanagan here. Drops back, looks, fires, throws the one to Grady Little, and that's going to be a touchdown. Second touchdown of the day there for Grady Little. And that is going to be touchdown number four of the day there for uh Flanagan, as you see, Gray Little breaks the record from one, uh, breaks Hunter Cannon's record for most touchdowns in the season. Now has 18 for the year. As we'll go now to a first and 10 here for the Mean Green. We'll see what they can do here in the fourth. As we see Sambar here, throws this one up there. That's going to be a catch as Guyton, the leading uh, receiver here, has not been uh, doing too well here. He's been kind of quiet in this ball game. As we'll see what we can do, maybe they'll have him more involved here in this uh, quarter. We'll see a throw again to him again, and that's going to be a 22-yard catch, first down. So here we go now, first and 10 here. We'll see if Zambar here drops back here. He is going to get sacked and get taken down. A loss of six on the play by Sheldon Sherman. Nice play to get the play uh, defensive uh, sack there. As we'll see now, third and 16 here. Sandbar here. He's going to look. He's going to get hit hard. He's going to fumble the ball. And Woodworth is going to try to run this one here. The big lineman gets it, but only uh, gets it back. Uh, doesn't even get it back to the line of scrimmage, really. And they will be forced to punt. 
So here we go now. First and ten here for uh, Scotty's. Kason here running this one, and he will get taken down near the 28, 27 yard line there for a gain of seven. So now third and five here now for the Scotties. As we'll see, 6.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Scotties here don't have to do too much. It's a 42 nothing ball game here. Blair throwing that gets, gets the catch there, and that's going to be a nice job there for a gain of seven. And that's going to get a first down. So we might see some more. Uh, we might see some. We've got a couple of uh, backups in here in this uh, in this play here, but we'll see there. Flanagan gets sacked there. That's a loss of six on the play. Makes it out a, a, a second and sixteen. So now we we'll go to third and sixteen here for the Scotties. As we're in I formation here, looks like they're going to run the ball. No, it's going to be play action. Flanagan draws back, fires, and oh, throws that one away there. I think that one just got away from him there, and that's going to be. Now another opportunity, plenty of opportunity now for no, oh, no, oh, they're actually gonna go ahead and stay on the field here with 529 left. Looks like they want to try to keep control of the clock here. As we'll see Flanagan here again. Play action there to Hunter Cannon. Cannon going down the field and is taken at the 50. Uh, he gets a 25 yard reception. He has 10 catches now for 163 yards. And of course, a uh, touchdown there. So Flanagan here drops back. First and ten here. Looks, fires, throws the one down the sideline there. That's going to be a great catch there for Blair. 29 yards on the reception. Great catch there. Way to keep his feet in there. But wait a minute. The booth says they want to take a real quick review here. We'll see what they're looking at. Oh, they want to see if his foot, if one of his feet was inbounds when he got the catch. And, uh-oh, doesn't look like it was there as they go ahead and reverse the call. So it's going to be a third and ten now. Instead of a first and ten, we'll see what the skies will do here. Possibly again, probably another pass play here. As they've been pretty dominant now here, pretty fully confident now with the passing game here. As we'll see a pass up to Hunter Cannon and gets the catch and gets taken inside the thirty there, inside the mean green. First and ten, forty-two nothing here at the ballpark against North Texas. Flanagan drops back here. He looks, fires, throws this one up to Tolbert. Tolbert gets the catch. Tolbert gets taken inside the five. And that's a 20-yard reception for the first. So here we go now. 419 left here in the fourth. See a first and goal here. Big man up on the line here. Possibly going to be a run here for Kaysan. As we'll see here. Got some backups in there on the offensive line there. Kaysan runs this one there, and he only gets a gain of two on the play. As that's going to be a second and goal now here for the Scotties. So second and goal here. Flanagan calling audible here. Tumless lineman to look down, check down here. We'll see Kaysan here. He'll get this one, but oh, he went down kind of awkwardly there. And they say it's a face mask. That's what I thought. And they'll go ahead and give him the automatic first down there. Half the distance to the goal. They'll be placed at the two as they go ahead and accept the penalty. So here we go now. First and goal here. Not much here for Highland to do here. They've pretty much been dominant all game long here with 322 left. They get into the end zone again. Touchdown. Scotties. And the Scotties. There you see the defense looking like today. Having a great game. 49 to nothing. As we'll see, Sandbar here throws this one up to Smith. Smith is trying to go ahead and try to get around the defense, but gets a five yard reception there. And that's going to be a gain of five for a second and five. So here we go, second and five here. Three minutes left here for the Mean Green to try to put something on the board here. As we'll see, Sandbar here throws this one up the middle there to Guyton, and Guyton will get the catch. 14 yards on the play. That's a first down. So nice job there is uh, me and Green here. They're getting down the field here, but I think it pretty much is too late here for them to really do anything. Let's go now to a first and ten here. Smith hand gets handoff there. That is going to take him near midfield. That's going to be a gain of seven, and that's going to be a second and three. So now third and six here for the Mean Green. We'll see what they can do here. Sandbar again drops back, looks, fires, throws this one to Lawrence, and the big fullback there drops it for incomplete pass, and pretty much that's going to be forced in the punt the ball, and Highland will keep the ball for the remainder of the game and run out the clock. 
Highland wins this one in a straight up blowout. A uh, shutout here, 49 to nothing here at Kensington Stadium. What a game here. Alex Fanakin, player of the game, 31 of uh, th or 21 31 here. 388 yards, four touchdowns, one interception, and two sacks for him in the ballgame as North Texas gets molly whopped here in Highland. What a game there. Congrats to the boys there. They're going to celebrate a, quite a bit here tonight, but still have one more game to go for the regular season, and that's going to be against Stanford next week. Number rank, number 10 ranked Stanford will be in town. And it's going to be a match, a rematch from last season, as uh, uh, then almost kind of a kind of a big rivalry game between these two schools, and we'll see how things go next week. But right now, there you see the numbers. 21 31 to 388, like I mentioned, four touchdowns, one interception. Kaysan, 20 ca carries for 116 yards, three rushing touchdowns in the ball game there for him. And he had one broken tackle. He had two yard, two 20 yard runs there from himself in the ball game there. Nice day for him, indeed. Counter Cannon, 11 catches for 185 yards, one touchdown. Grady Little, big catches there earlier in the game. Five receptions for 142 yards, and two touchdowns. And Blair, of course, three catches for 33 yards. And, of course, one touchdown there for him. So a very big day here for the Highland receivers. Pretty much everybody, every phase of the game there. Uh, defense was able to put a shutout, shutout there. Really did not give North Texas uh, any chance there. Well, actually did give them some chances there. But North Texas didn't take the points there. They were had could have easily had uh, six points for this ball game. But they come up short. Uh, well, I decided to go all go all for it there in the game as they went for on both on fourth downs there and could not convert for the first down. So uh, that is on them as uh, Highland did a great job there and uh, just but played you know uh, some really good tough defense there, especially fourth downs did not let up at all and were able to uh, shut them down and now uh, bring home a nice shutout victory here. Here at the school, so nice job there. Just take a look at North Texas numbers. Not much to talk about there. Smith, uh, pretty much your uh, leading rusher and receiver. Uh, well, actually, no, uh, leading well, leading in catches. I should say seven receptions there. Guyton has uh, three set receptions for 53 yards. It was really funny that they didn't throw to him too often because he is the um, he has the most uh, receptions for the season, and he's their number one wide receiver. So I was really kind of. Uh, wondering why they were not throwing to him. I don't know if we had good uh, coverage on him uh, in the first half or the, if the game plan was just trying to run the ball and try to wear down the Highland defense there, which did not in their favor. Or did not, was not much in their favor there in that one. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, so we get the win. And like I said, we, next week you go against a 10-1 North – or, excuse me, 10-1 Stanford Cardinals next week. It's going to be a big game here. Number five versus number 10. You know what that means. There's a lot of things on the line here. Our chance to get to the possible to the national championship is on the line, and their chances to get a decent bowl game is on the line there. So a big, big game here next week uh, between Stanford and Highland. So stay tuned for that here on the channel. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Highland Scotty's football here on ESGN net as always keep yourselves and each other healthy follow us on Facebook Twitter and Discord, and don't forget to like us subscribe and share us on the interwebs there thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time